Hi there, it's Lindsay, and I'm going to be doing a Move Your Mind video. And the first segment will be on mobility. Second two segments will be cardio and strength. And the final segment will be calming and stretching uh, to calm your mind and your body. So let's get started. The first segment is mobility. We're going to start with a forward fold. So you can just stand feet with the hip width apart. Bend forward, knees slightly bent, and allow your neck to relax, your head just hanging down, legs slightly bent. You can nod your head a little bit. Yes and no. Just hanging in a forward fold. You'll feel some stretch in the hamstrings. and then rolling up slowly. Next movement we're gonna do is cat to cow. So on your hands and knees, hands under your shoulders, you're going to inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale into angry cat, hips under, head under. Go slowly, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round. Head under, hips under, chin to chest. Do a couple more slow cat to cow with breath. Exhale on the cat. Two more times, inhaling on the cow and exhale into cat. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze and exhaling into the angry cat. Now we're going to do a T-spine. So right hand on the floor, left hand beside your head, inhaling, lift your gaze, looking up at your elbow, exhale, take your left elbow to your right wrist. A couple more times, inhale, looking up, exhale, touch your left elbow to the right wrist, one more time, inhale, look up, exhale, elbow to right wrist. Same thing on the other side, take your right hand at the side of your head, inhale and looking up, exhale, right elbow touches left wrist. Two more times, inhale, look up, exhale, right elbow, left wrist. Last one, inhaling, looking up, and exhale, elbow to wrist. Now we're going to change to the puppy pose. So you have, you're on your hands and knees, your hips are up in the air. You're going to press your chest toward the floor till you feel that through the top of your shoulders. Just feeling that stretch in the top of your shoulders, breathing, low breath. Couple more breaths. One more inhale and an exhale. Now we're going to do the lizard pose. So take your left leg forward and hands are beside your left foot and you you can stretch forward till you feel that in the front of your right hip. If you're more flexible, you can come elbows down onto the floor, but just feeling that on the front of your hip, holding that position, keep your knee close to your shoulder, Can rock a little bit side to side and then come back change sides right leg forward both hands close to your right foot lean forward you'll notice that you have one side that will be more flexible than the other you can come down onto your elbows if you like or onto a block feeling that stretch
breathing here. And then come on up and just take a deep breath in, arms over your head, stretch, clasp your thumbs, stretching tall. Couple more breaths, stretching up as tall as you can. One more. Exhale. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Bring your arms down. Now we're going to start into the cardio segment. It's a combination of cardio plus strengthening. So our first bit is marching. So you're going to march eight counts, eight wide marches. Eight now. And eight wide. Your count. Couple more and use your arms like you're really needing it. And wide. One more time. Narrow march. Get those arms going. And wide. Okay, we're going to change to a strengthening move. If you have a chair, we're going to do squat, tapping your hips down onto the chair. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds, just sitting back. You don't actually have to sit on the chair or bench, but you're squatting. Exhale. Sitting back, knees are pointing forward, feet are pointing forward. Good. Now we have an upper body exercise, which is push-ups on the chair or bench. So you can, you don't need to change this, but you're going to do a push-up. You can also do this against the wall. So we're doing this for 30 seconds. Take your time. Breathing, exhale. So against the wall, it would look like this and you are just far enough out. Okay, good job. Coming back to the march. So we got the eight wide or eight narrow and eight wide. And narrow, getting your heart rate up a little bit and wide. And narrow, and wide. Just getting your heart rate up. Narrow and wide. Good. Okay, so now we have these sitting back squats. So sit back, come up, tap your butt, head is up. Exhale as you squat. So feeling that in your thighs, hands come forward as a counterbalance. About one more time. Okay, next up are the push-ups. So against the wall or onto a chair, your choice, or on the floor, here we go. Elbows can be wide. Exhale as you push away. One more time. Good job. Okay, so we're going to go back to that. This time we're going to do four narrow, four wide. Whoop, <laughs> narrow and wide. And four narrow and wide. Narrow and wide. This feels good to be moving. Don't worry about whether you've got the coordination for this. Just keep your arms going. Narrow and wide. Okay, so we have the one more set of squats. Ready? Sit back, tap your butt on the chair and come up. Exhale. Exhale. Good job. Make sure I can see my timer here. Exhale and go. Okay, good. Now we're coming into push-ups. So 
you've got your hands against the wall or on the bench or on the floor, pushing that last step. Feeling that in your pecs, a little bit in the back of your arms. Hang on there. About 10 more seconds to go. Push yourself away as exhale yourself away. Last one. Okay, nice. The second segment of strength and cardio is going to be 30 seconds hamstring curl. So you've got feet wide and you're pulling your heel to your back of your leg. You can pull your arms in. You can do whatever you want in the variation with your arms. So you're just using those large muscles, getting your heart rate up. Okay, good job. The next exercise is lunge. So you're going to alternate stepping back with the right leg, then the left leg. So your front knee is 90 degrees and you're just lunging back. So this is using glutes, hold leg muscles, upper legs. You've got a couple more reps to go here. Take your time. Make sure it's a good movement. Last one, there we go. Now we have dips as our upper body. Hands on the chair, bench, let yourself down, press up. Lower, you can do this on the floor without a bench or a chair too. So you would be uh, fingers pointing toward your feet, bending and straightening. Not as easy to do from here, but can be done. One more. Okay, good. Coming up, coming back to the hamstring curl. Here we go. Pulling, 30 seconds of this. You can pull in from the side if you like. Just keep your breath going. Heart rate will be a little higher on this. Got all those big muscles of your legs going in your arms. Pull back. Feet are far apart for balance. Five more seconds. Good. Now we've got the rear lunge. So you're going to step back, alternating lunge. And then the other leg. A little bit of balance here. Keep your technique good. Don't try and go as fast as you can, but go for good, solid execution here. Have your opposite hand forward. Okay, then we have the dips with your chair or bench, fingers pointing toward your feet and Lower elbows are close to your side, so you're using your triceps. We're on our second group, second set of everything. See if you can keep it going. Take rest when you need to. We have about 10 seconds left. Exhale as you press up. And last one. Good. Okay, here we go. Last set of hamstring curls. Let's see if you can do arms pressing out. Some kind of distraction. So we've got 30 seconds on this. Keep it going. Just got to check my timer. Press, press. One more, and here we go with the push-ups. Your choice on the floor, get on a, on a bench, 30 seconds. Keep your body in a straight line. Don't let your hips sag. Good job. Pace yourself. One more time. 
and then just marching it out. So you can do a box step, last bit, just cardio, right step in front, behind, front, behind, front, change sides, left in front, so you cross, 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 very graceful, cross, one more, and cross, good. Okay, the final part is on stretch, relax, and mobility. So you can sit in a comfortable seated posture. You can put your hands on your knees if you like, and just breathing in through your nose. Exhale like you're blowing out a straw. Low breath in. Exhale like you're blowing through a straw. This is a very calming technique. Inhale for count of two. Exhale count of four through a straw. Inhaling. Exhale. We're going to change to a forward fold. The legs are out in front and you're going to bend at the hips and stretch toward your legs and just keep your breath going inhale and exhale keep your chest up inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale, you can do a little pulse. So inhale, come up a bit. Exhale as you fold toward your thighs. Okay, next is a supported bridge or a bridge posture. If you have a block, you can do this with the block. So you're going to have your feet close to your hands on your back. You're going to lift your hips up and just hold and breathe. Pushing your hips up. You can do this as a relaxing posture with the, with the block under your hips and just breathing. This is very calming. You can bring your hips down for a minute. If you don't have a block, inhale, come up again and just breathing. One more breath and exhale. Come on up. And we're going to do the last phase is supported legs up the wall. You can do this with a block if you prefer. And it is a very calming position. Get as close to the wall as you can. Your legs can be bent and just allow yourself to relax. Your palms can be up. And you can stay in this position as long as you like, just enjoying that relaxing feeling. Five minutes is a great length or longer. Just allowing your body to rest, recruit the benefits. Just enjoy the breathing in this position. Relax your feet. Slow your breath down. Variations on legs up the wall, you can have your feet in a V and so you're having a stretch in your inner thighs. The other variation is a block under your hips and just legs up without the wall and just 
You can shake your feet out. Not really trying to get anywhere with this, except just to enjoy the benefits. It's a very relaxing pose. And then to come out of it, you can bring your legs to the side, come up onto your elbow, sitting up. And then just take an inhale, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Let's try one more time. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. Exhale into prayer. So thank you for joining me today and hope that you have lots of time to experiment with some of these practices and have a very mindful day.